Good evening. First tonight, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has finished the year outlining his government's focus for 2017. But while education, energy prices and tax reform are all priorities, popularity isn't on the list. The PM says in the wake of Brexit and Donald Trump's win, the polls can't be trusted. Ursula Hager has more. A merry farewell to a people's house tradition. Standing or rolling over the heads of our politicians will no longer be allowed in the new year as Parliament prepares for tighter security restrictions. Another tradition falling by the wayside, popularity politics. The PM says the polls just don't stack up. In recent times, the opinion polls have not proved a great indication of what finally happens, he said in a pre-Christmas interview. But that's a very different attitude to the man who rolled Tony Abbott. We have lost 30 news polls in a row. It is clear that the people have made up their mind about Mr Abbott's leadership. This could be why he's changed his tune. The coalition has only been ahead in four of the past 19 news polls this year. Now that they've turned against him, he's choosing to ignore them whilst his leadership rolls off a cliff. A New Year threat for both parties, Pauline Hanson's One Nation, now polling at 16% in Queensland and planning to field enough candidates at the next state election to topple the Labor government. Let me say very clearly, my government is focused on jobs. Federally, the PM says his focus next year will be on education, energy prices, tax reform and innovation. One area the Prime Minister failed to mention, an Australian Republic. But he will tonight play host to the movement's 25th anniversary dinner at Sydney University. And since he's been Prime Minister, he hasn't been particularly active in the Republic, but tonight we'll see how he goes. We're all looking forward to his speech. At least the PM can tick off innovation, releasing this year's Christmas card over email. Ursula Hager, 10 Eyewitness News.